So we already talked earlier today about Czechia's crazy pinball upset victory over Canada with 11 seconds left. Now in the last game of the day, Switzerland versus Sweden, obviously Sweden came in as heavy favorites over the Swiss, and they played like it to start the game. They went up 2-0, and at that point it looked like, alright, look, it's in Sweden, at the Scandinavium, the crowd's going wild, it's Sweden's to lose, and they almost did. Beautiful pass and one-timer in the high slot to cut the deficit down to one for Switzerland, and then a seeing-eye top cheese point shot 10 minutes into the third, and bang, it's 2-2. This was wild though, late in the game, this little poke by the Swiss player was called a major penalty on the kid. Now I realize sometimes they do that in order to be able to review the play, which is probably what happened here since it was changed to a two-minute penalty, but in a game of this magnitude, I don't understand how you can call that. I just don't. That's an absolutely insane call. Then in overtime, Switzerland has a can opener hook, but again, in overtime, you guys be the judge. Should that have been called or not? The Switzerland coach clearly didn't think so, and neither did the guy who took the penalty, Dionisio. But he literally snaps his stick in half before going to the penalty box. Then on that Swedish power play, Axel Sandin Pelika, who could be regarded as possibly one of the best offensive defensemen to be coming out of that 2023 draft. We'll see how that all shakes out, but this could end up being another really good Iser plan move because, yes, the Red Wings got him at 17th overall. He places the puck exactly where he needed to, blocker side, in order for his country and team to win the game. They did, and the crowd goes absolutely bananas. Look, I understand when Canada gets eliminated, a lot of people tend to tune out of the World Juniors. I implore you not to. The rest of this tournament is going to be so much fun, even with Canada eliminated. And that's coming from a Canada fan. This one was a ton of fun, and I feel for Switzerland, man. They were in this one. They battled tooth and nail so hard, and there were a few ticky-tack penalties that... Uh, Definitely could have swung things had they not been called. You guys can debate about that in the comments. But that country should be extremely proud of their team and how they played here. And man, I'm excited for the semis here. Let me know your thoughts on this in the comments down below. If you want more World Junior videos, you gotta let me know by liking the video and subscribing and I will continue to make them because I'm gonna be watching these games. Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.